Bob Newhart is an icon of comedy and acting with a career that has spanned decades. Sadly, his marriage, which has been equally as long, has come to an end with the death of his longtime love, Jenny Newhart. Jenny passed away in April of 2023, leaving Bob devastated. Stick around as Facts First presents Bob Newhart Breaks His Silence After Losing His Wife. Fans of legendary comedian and actor Bob Newhart were saddened to learn about the passing of his wife, Jenny Newhart, on April 23, 2023. She died in the Newhart home in Century City, California at age 82 after fighting a long illness. Bob and Ginny had been together for decades, having recently celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary. Their Marriage Bob and Ginny actually met on a blind date. It was concocted by fellow comedian Buddy Hackett, because at the time, Ginny was hired on as a babysitter for his children. According to Ginny, Buddy arrived home one day and told her Bob Newhart was an up-and-coming comedian and that he was Catholic like her. As such, Buddy joked the two of them should get married. And while that might have been a tongue-in-cheek remark by Hackett, it ended up being an accurate prediction. The two met up at Hackett's house for the first time, playing pool and generally being silly. Ginny recalled that for some reason that day, whenever someone sent a pool ball into one of the pockets, the two of them would run around the table singing the song Bridge on the River Kwai. Interestingly enough, the two didn't start dating then. They even lost touch for several years. But they managed to get back in touch and started dating. Eventually, Bob popped the question and they got married January 12, 1963. When Buddy introduced them, he also made the prediction that they would have children and name one of them Buddy. While he was right about them getting married, Newhart and Ginny named their four children Robert, Timothy, Jennifer, and Courtney. Newhart told CBS the key to their successful marriage was laughter. There was something about laughter that correlates to the longevity of a marriage. And while Ginny didn't have the career that Bob did, or her father did, he was legendary character actor Bill Quinn, she did make occasional appearances on TV alongside Bob. She'd sometimes appear as a background actor on his shows, and she participated in celebrity games like Tattletales and Super Password with him as well. Ginny's Legendary Idea Jenny was famous for having conceived of the idea for ending the show Newhart. The idea came to her while at a Christmas party where she was talking to actress Suzanne Plachette. Plachette had played Bob's wife in his first hit series, The Bob Newhart Show. Bob played a psychologist opposite Plachette. Then came the show Newhart. In that one, Bob played an innkeeper in Vermont, and his wife was played by actress Mary Fran. As the story goes, they were struggling to figure out how to end the series. But when Ginny saw Plachette at that Christmas party, a thought occurred to her. They should have the final episode of Newhart show Bob waking up in bed with Plachette and treat the entire series of Newhart as if it had been a dream by the character in the Bob Newhart show. The results were a total surprise to viewers and left a lasting impression on them, not to mention TV history. A Tribute to Ginny Bob Newhart, in a tweet posted via his publicist, mourned the loss of his beloved wife. The tweet read, We lost our beloved Ginny Quinn Newhart, wife, mother, and grandmother, on April 23, 2023, after a long battle with illness. She was our rock, and we miss her terribly. No doubt Bob is leaning on family and friends to help him through the rocky times he's going through. The Newharts and the Rickles Although the two men had very different comedic styles, one of Newhart's closest friends was Don Rickles, the legendary comic known for his scathingly hilarious insults. The two remained fairly close over the years. They would even attend each other's family vacations and tours together, even though the Rickles offended Ginny the first time they met. While at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, Bob and Ginny sat in the front row to watch Don perform. Although Newhart warned his wife about Rickles' reputation for harsh jabs, she apparently wasn't prepared enough when Rickles proclaimed that the stammering idiot from Chicago was in the audience with his hooker wife from New Jersey. Despite that pretty awkward moment, Newhart always knew that Rickles was a good guy at heart, so when Rickles died in 2017, Newhart honored his friend's memory by sharing with The Hollywood Reporter that the comedian, quote, didn't have a mean bone in his body, and it was in fact an honor to be picked on by him. Newhart's Pre-Comedy Years Despite his long and storied career, Newhart didn't find success in comedy out of the gate. 
He started out in accounting and advertising. He and his co-worker Ed Gallagher used to pass the hours by taping comedy scenes that they then sent to radio stations. They would do these improv comedy routines sometimes over the phone. Gallagher would interview him and play the straight man. It was essentially a budget version of Bob and Ray. Then, one day Gallagher suggested they should try to sell their bits to radio stations. The two men would have to wait until everyone went home so they could secretly use the company's recording equipment. They recorded four or five routines, then sent them out to more than a hundred radio stations. Turns out, Newhart was a pretty lousy accountant because he and Gallagher were spending more on postage than they were getting paid for the material. But that didn't matter all that much, because what they were after was exposure. Newhart finally got lucky when he was almost 30, when Warner Brothers Records offered him a contract, which he signed. Newhart was in the military during the Korean War. After graduating college, Newhart was drafted into the Army during the Korean War. He had an uncanny ability to talk his way out of being sent overseas, and instead traveled around bases on the West Coast. In 2005, Bob said in an interview, he used to drive around LA with his buddies while stationed in California. They would drive west on Sunset Boulevard, looking at all the big houses, and wonder who was living there. And of course, one day, he was one of them. His stint in the Army was the inspiration for one of his comedy routines, The Cruise of the USS Codfish, which he later performed on The Ed Sullivan Show. The act poked fun at how inefficient such a large organization like the Navy could be, showing that even a bumbling fool like his character could be promoted through its ranks. He later revisited his Army years when portraying Major Major in Catch-22, which provided audiences with another unflattering glimpse into some of the Army's deficiencies. Bob's Failing Health In the tabloid The Globe, an article was published in late 2020 speculating Bob was at death's door. They reported he was looking gaunt and incredibly frail, but he was also still performing. The unnamed sources in the piece, as tends to happen with tabloid journalism, said Bob's refusal to stop performing was essentially killing him, though it should be argued that being in one's 90s is likely what's really killing a person. The article talked about how when Bob is on stage, it looks like he might topple over at any time. It also said that people in Newhart's circles were worried that he'd have issues with polycythemia rubra, a form of bone marrow cancer. He had been diagnosed with it in the 80s, and at that point he had to be hospitalized. But this seems to be more speculation than fact, since he not only has survived that health issue for almost 40 years, but the information's coming from a tabloid. One guess that might be accurate is that Bob still feels the effects of the losses of the people around him. While the article was published before Ginny's death, it did mention the deaths of some of Bob's closest people, including Mike Connors, Tim Conway, and Don Rickles. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Bob and Ginny were married for 60 years and that she came up with the legendary ending for the show Newhart? Let us know in the comments section below.